Hello and welcome to Starfish Maths. My name is Sarah and today I want to look at some polynomial work. I want to look at long division of polynomials. Now as always there's a few different ways of doing this. You can use long division like you would with numbers but instead with algebra. You can use what's called synthetic division or you can use a grid method which I'm going to show you today. Now you might not be familiar with this grid method but see if you like it and if not, you can use your own method, just do the questions I'm doing and compare your answers. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. First of all today, I want to look at what happens if you're asked to multiply together three or more brackets. Now this is very similar to multiplying two brackets together and it's not as daunting as it looks, you can just take it step by step. First of all, multiply two brackets together, leave the third bracket and then bring that in later. Let's have a go at multiplying these two brackets together first. And now we'll tidy up. And now methodically multiply everything in this bracket by both of those terms there. and tidy up. Okay, I'll now give you one more of those to try. Have a go yourself at this one, pause the video and come back. Did you get that one right? Well done if you did. Okay, we're now ready to start long division. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to use a grid method. I'm dividing by x minus five, so I'm gonna draw a grid and put x and minus five down the side. Now on the top, we're looking for the things that multiply by these to give us the answer. So we don't know what goes up here yet, but we're gonna have an x squared term, an x term, and a number term. Now when we multiply this as a grid, we'll get the answers that simplify to give us what we started with. And the two terms that only come up once are the very first term and the very last term. Only these two terms here multiply to give that term. There's no other x cubed from anywhere and only the minus five and the number multiply to give this number at the end here. There's no other terms that will just give a number. So we can fill those ones in. That's got to be two x cubed and that one's got to be minus 20. Now to make two x cubed, it's got to be x times something to give two x cubed, so that's got to be two x squared. And similarly here, minus five times minus 20, it's got to be plus four. The reason I like this method is it feels a little bit like a puzzle. So now we've got those two in place, we know that's 2x squared, so now we can fill in this one here. That's got to be 2x squared times minus 5 is minus 10x squared. Similarly, we can now fill in this one. It's x times plus 4, so that's 4x. Now, whatever t term goes in here, we'll be adding with this one. They'll be the two x squared terms. We've got x times another something x, so that will be an x squared term. So those two terms are gonna add to give the minus seven x squared. So minus 10 x squared plus something gives us minus seven x squared. That's got to be three x squared. Similarly, this term and this one here will be the x terms. So minus five times something x will give us something, add it to four x to give us minus 11 x. So that's going to have to be minus 15 x. 
Now let's see if there's a number we can put here that will make these two right. Minus 5 times 3x will give us minus 15x. And just check for this one, 3x times x does give us 3x squared, so we're happy. So that all works, that's the remainder then. Now you can check these, we can do what we did at the beginning of this video. If that divided by that gives us that, then that times that should give that. So you can quickly check if that's right. Have a go at multiplying those together. Brilliant, I always love it when it works. Okay, two more examples, have a go at these, pause the video, do it the same way that we did before and come back and check your answers. Okay, we know we want 6x cubed at the beginning. So 2x times something gives 6x cubed, that's got to be 3x squared. So we can now fill in that's 9x squared. The number term is 3, so 3 times 1 gives you 3. 1 times 2x is 2x. We know we want 3x squared, we've got 9x squared, so we need to take away 6x squared. And we've got a 2x, but we want minus 7x, so we're going to have to take off 9x. Checking that, we've got 3 times something is minus 9x, that's got to be minus 3x. Minus 3x times 2x is minus 6x squared, so that's brilliant. Again, do check that works by multiplying this quadratic by the linear and checking that you get that polynomial there. Alright, last one. Okay, well done if you got those right. Please do keep practicing them. You need that skill really firm in place. And a good video to watch now would be the factor and remainder theorem, where you're going to be using this skill in a direct application. Thank you so much for watching and have fun.